This is the crew deck of the carrier cat. So let me give you a little bit of a walkthrough. Yep, that's it. All right. There we go. That's the floor plan. I've removed the roof. So you can see where some of the entrances are and I've laid out this blue line to say like this is the walking space. So I want to put in a wall probably on both sides to kind of direct you into the middle. This gap in here I want to use some kind of utility closet. There's no way I can do anything directly down. We've got to stick to these staircases on the sides for any directing any kind of foot traffic down. So all up here is going to be crew quarters of some kind. So probably sleeping positions, like some kind of bunk system and a cafeteria. And then I want a door on the front somewhere that goes out onto that front deck. This little bulge in the floor that has to stay there. That is part of the door for the front ramp. And it needs to bulge up into this floor because it's a custom door with a hole in it. It's the only way I can get the door to stay watertight. The other thing to note, these red spots in the floor, these are where the lights in the cargo bay are, so I can't delete these. Or I can't put anything like paint blocks or anything crazy in there, which shouldn't be too hard to avoid. So first what I'm thinking is there probably should just be a wall straight through here. It doesn't need to be a door to separate this area. I'm going to use this light blue color for every all the new blocks I'm doing right now. So yeah, I think when you come in, these bits with the gray floor are like a wet area. Get your boots clean sort of thing. And then the blue space within there, I think I want to do a carpet design. So this is kind of like a foyer area. And then a door in here doesn't actually need to be a door. It can just be an opening that goes into a hallway. Now let's figure out how, how I want to do beds gonna be bunks for sure I think it'd be cool to have some equipment slots and some shelving so that's gonna mean it pokes out even more maybe what I could do is have one of these equipments upright then change over to the arctic equipment but that might be good at the foot of the bed if I'm leaving the space at the bottom here you probably don't need any other equipment in someone's like personal space. So I think paint blocks and some fake cupboards would probably be the best bet. Just something like that, maybe just two cupboards. Maybe if I use paintable indicators, I could set this bit above here as a, a reading light kind of thing. Some kind of light, and then you've got space above your bed. Space around the sides, some shelves. I could just put a heater in here. I would really like some kind of light. So you've got like a reading light kind of situation. Here, you your own air conditioning. Yeah, so this, and then just multiply this a bunch of times. It's pretty tight for a bunk bed. Flip it over and then we'll do a gap of five. One, two, three, four, five. And then flip it forwards and another gap of five is a walking space. And then I want to build a little ladder at the foot of the beds. I think that gives the lower bunk a bit of privacy as well. I don't know how many crew I really need on this boat. But I can just copy the bunks over and over again and that will give me more and more space. Um, I think in here what I'd like to do is just put in a fake cupboard or a fake set of lockers. Does two lockers work? There's eight beds in here and I can copy these lockers. Put another set down here because this is a just a wall. Oh, this is, why is that like that? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then if I copy the lockers again, I can keep shuffling them down. And then this gives me like another area. So it'd be like these sailors share this area. And then they've also got a little kind of changing room or something down here. 
and I might put a bathroom on the end so it's these eight people share one bathroom and then I'll maybe duplicate it onto the other side yeah like how many people actually would be working on this shelf do I want to be in the middle for this door because it's kind of like you want to be in the middle of this section which is 26 so if I went 25 but if I just had an opening instead of a door I don't really need doors everywhere and then this can come in and we need to get over to this door I think I'm going to expand this area a bit more as well it seems kind of weird to have so much space and be limiting it like limiting how much space the people have do you know what I mean like why would I cut this wall off here why not make it come out more and then that does seem kind of not right though I wish we could like fill this in for the sliding door it's really annoying but you can't just have a wall run up beside it but now I'm just going to put in like normal sized windows and this is where I want the shower to be so I might even use what have we got two by two do a bit of like an angled yeah something like that that'll be the the shower wall or what if I use a that was a two by two yeah two by two and then a one just to kind of close it in a bit and then there's still some space over here where I could put like uh, some kind of bench or something if I use two higher windows then they should be stretched evenly I'll see if I can XML those now okay let's have a look at this it's already started lagging so you can enter you've got a bit of a bit of a bit of a, bit of a foyer lobby thing I might put a room in here lockers that looks nice I'll put a little panel window thing up there sleeping quarter everyone gets their own little cupboard and a reading light more lockers more lockers so this could be like a changing area toilet sink shower yeah that's good that's very good so do i need more sleeping quarters or is eight enough clifford suffered a lot from having too many rooms so i don't know if we want to go that route I'm going to change this color as well so that we know what the next section will be. I want a sitting galley cafeteria kind of area and there's obviously this thing in the middle which is going to be a real pain to build around. Can you make a fish tank? Can you make an aquarium? Mm, don't know about this gap through here. I might have to bring it right out to meet it. Mm, if I do an aquarium I have to use lots of the normal windows that is gonna not look good it'd be really nice if it was just one big glass panel this is not a good idea it won't look good i'm just trying to think of how i can incorporate this lump into like a middle separator thing for the room as in what if there was a lounge area on one side and then a dining area on the other side got my favorite seat in the world so i'm thinking like if there was some kind of wraparound lounge the only passenger boat i really have any personal reference of is the inter-island of ferries that new zealand has they kind of have these these kind of spaces it's a six wide gap though so that's kind of weird i should put some windows on the front some porthole windows and then i'll know where kind of like the area that I might want to put a door in. I don't need this many. Get rid of every other one. Get rid of these two. And then I think the door can just go in the middle. So what if your walkway went... I do like a corner here. So curves that way. Then one, two, three, four, five. I really liked the kitchen galley diner thing that was in clifford so i'm gonna steal this 
so somewhere in the middle there'll be like a serving thing i think i can just grab that whole kitchen there's still enough space to walk around behind there as well so that's good what if i flip it though so kind of the more working area is going to be behind this closed wall i really want to have a freezer i just think it's nice to have that kind of i don't know like a, a room gonna take the sort of general bench shape put it down here as well and let's have a look even if i change this it's good to get the general shape and layout put in Yeah, I like these pillar things, kind of like having the roof across there helps separate it. I think this is where you would come to collect your tray. So like if you're, if you're coming to get food, you just come here, grab a tray, pick out what you want, bop, 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 bop. And then you're at the end of the line and you can go find a seat and put a dining area in here. And then, yeah, like a sitting area, a lounge back here. And then I probably still have this back corner for something else. I'll try not to copy too much stuff because it does become quite repetitive. This is a modern kitchen and a modern kitchen doesn't have to be brown. So I'm going to paint block everything gray. Go right down to the bottom and put in new gray cabinets. I don't know how this is going to look when it's actually done, but Hopefully it looks nice. Mm, it's really hard to see, but it looks good in light. So hopefully I can put some windows in the back behind here and just get some lights in general. It does look a lot cooler though, even as just a black blob. Hopefully when I get all these cupboards done, they'll all look a bit more modern and it should look a lot nicer. Maybe I need two fridges. This kitchen is a lot bigger than the last one. So maybe I can put two fridges in here or a double door fridge. So I'll do that now and we'll just magically magic into the future. I feel like I've made heaps of progress today. So I've got crew quarters, which is pretty good. I don't think there's really too much I need to do in here. Maybe some painting, definitely paint the floor, but I mean more like painting decorative stuff just getting the, the lockers fixed up. I like how this bit of floor kind of just it has a bit of a, a larger section in here where it's sort of the walkway splits off so it's just a bit bigger. I'm going to bring this wall across I think so that the walkway down here is narrower or I'm going to try, try push it over or put some decorative stuff in there. It's a bit dark. I wonder if I can change time to get a bit of light in here not really I need more windows obviously but this is where you pick out your food got a rubbish bin recycle <laughs> that's actually really cool even though it looks real goofy um, and it turns out the Z fighting isn't too bad you can kind of see it but it's not that bad and then in here are oh, these cupboards all these cupboards and drawers they look so good, especially in black, like um, without light, it's kind of a bit hard to tell. I also sort of tiled the floor a little bit. It's all nice and gray. So I'm envisioning it like everything that's gray, all the countertops and the fridge, this countertop here, it's all stainless steel. And then all the black stuff is just like a nice, you know, modern laminate type of thing. Got some shells over here, two little shells up there. Yeah, it's looking real good. And then in here is going to be like a freezer. So I'll put some boxes of stuff in there just for decoration. And then there'll be a door somewhere over here, probably further away. So more to the right side. And then I'll put in dining tables of some kind in here. And then we'll have a lounge. And then I think, yeah, something in here. I don't know what it will be, but it'll be sort of crew centric and more recreational this whole floor is just sort of about living 
living arrangements and relaxing and then as you go up onto the next floor so i guess oh yeah that's something how do you get up to the next floor so this door goes outside and then you could use this staircase to get up to the next floor but that's kind of weird and then through here goes downstairs so that's down into the cargo bay this door also opens to the cargo bay and then why do i have two doors that's kind of weird i should probably get rid of this door because that doesn't make any sense to have a little hallway like this when there's a door here and a door here so that's a bit more natural for like coming up the stairs you're going left or right and yeah same for all the other ones so this back door will go and then i can't do a staircase up here because it sort of would just end up outside and i like that this is kind of a large lobby area i think what i'd probably do i wonder if i can turn this hallway into a staircase that goes up then if you're coming up the cargo from the cargo deck you have to go through this door come around and then go up through here that makes a lot of sense eh? better just check that there is actually space for that but i want to show you some stuff on the carrier cat and i'm going to merge this floor into it i wonder if i can just like tuck a porthole window in here for more light oh yeah i made the sink wider it's a bigger kitchen so it should have more sink space i don't think i'll get any windows in here so that's kind of a shame and then out onto the front so there'll be a door maybe here go that way i think and yeah so what will happen is from here i don't know what that is random blocks this door will go up so i have to get rid of this rail because it's not like a it's not within the same room anymore it will definitely be a wall probably don't need this door actually oh wait a minute okay this isn't gonna work i'm getting rid of that i'm putting a wall in there and then i'm putting a wall through here i'm sure i can find something for this space but if not i just put a physics flutter in there and we pretend it doesn't exist it really kind of leaves this space open or this is the candidate for the stairs. I didn't want to do this, but might be forced into it. Uh, it does kind of line up into the right place. Maybe I can leave my pillar here because that's kind of what I wanted. I wanted you to be able to come through this door as the main door on the rear deck and like see through some of that. That might work. I'll just quickly put this staircase in. Okay, okay. Um, there's fish all over the ground because I was testing the tsunami resistant capabilities of the carrier cat. It's pretty good. It did flip, but it does also only have engines in the left side. But anyway, I put a ladder. Like I actually finished this. I made it kind of pop out a little bit and I think that's okay. It kind of just a little bit of interest and in asymmetricality. I don't know if that's a real word, but you can climb up and there are player sensors. When you get up to the top, it'll automatically open, and then it should automatically close. Isn't that nice? And then this button here just is like manual toggle, so it's a push button. I would like it to kind of intercept that automatic signal, but right now it's okay just being a, a toggle or an automatic thing when you're climbing up. Um, I painted the railing up here for the helicopter. And I painted all the rails so that it's like, it looks like there's a rope suspended between two steel posts. Um, helipads all the same. And then I cut away a huge amount of the top here and put this staircase in. So this is now how you get up into this top section. And I think I'm going to put a rib launcher thing up here. So like a crane that can hang a rib off the side. I've just pushed this wall back so that there's more deck space here now just to accommodate that staircase on the inside. 
And then I got my custom windows done today. This was a bit of a pain. These ones here were not so bad. So this is just so you can come in and see what's around the ship. I think these ones turned out really well. Like the visibility is so good and the slopes and everything, it all lines up pretty well. So it's a lot of XML stretch windows and pretty much this whole bridge floor is going to be not watertight, which kind of sucks, but uh, that'll mean I need a door at the top of this staircase. <laughs> Should have thought about that. But yeah, that's otherwise I need to put like walls through here and do custom doors. And that's just going to mean that there are big bulges coming out here and down into this floor. So it's kind of not really a good way to do it. What I'll do is I'll just put a door, like I'll, I'll carry this wall across here so that the outside area is just sort of the section between the two sides. But yeah, I really like these windows. Nice tall windows. I put invisible blocks in here so you can't accidentally jump out. It, it stops you from moving through here, so that's good. But they don't cause... Invisible blocks don't let you have a watertight area, so it's still just outside. This door goes up to the bridge, which is also suffering from not being watertight. Custom windows all the way around. Um, it looks like there might be some invisible blocks somewhere that got a bit screwy, but you should be able to run the whole way around the front of this, sort of get a more level view. And then I want to try and elevate the seat up here for the driver's position. And this is, I'm aiming for the driver's position to just be for driving, um, as in, I don't know, maybe for maneuvering or something. I think you're going to end up coming down here. So maybe I make the whole system remote control. And then there'll be a wall through here to keep it watertight. And I want to put in a display somewhere that can be used as a large map for plotting a course. I don't know how to do that, but I might just use someone else's microcontroller to plot a course. Because this is not the kind of ship you want to be driving and sitting in the seat the whole time. You want to sort of just set it and forget and go and do something else. So yeah, this door will come out onto the front deck. There's really nothing out here. I might put a staircase that goes up onto the, the top section there, just or a ladder, just so you've got access. Um, and maybe a little platform around the front so that you can climb up and see over the edge. But yeah, it's starting to come together a bit more now that I've got some of the more annoying things out of the way. I can focus on doing more decorative stuff and that's where you'll really start to see it develop. The engines are basically done, so we'll be able to move it pretty soon, I reckon. Uh, and I still want to try and put the tank tracks in there so it can drive on land, which is going to be interesting. I also want to integrate that life raft add-on so that we can automatically deploy life rafts off it because that'll be pretty cool. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. See you later.